Every day, American healthcare providers use the most cutting edge technology to diagnose, prevent, and treat countless types of diseases, and illnesses, and injuries. We have things like meg scanners and nuclear medicine, even robotic surgery. We're truly living in the future. I even have a laser. It's all pretty cutting edge stuff. But there's one area where we're all way behind, coding. It may not be as exciting as lasers or robotic surgery, but medical coding is something that affects all of us. And right now, every American healthcare system is using something called ICD-9, a coding system that was developed in the 1970s. That's right, the 70s. Imagine if we were still stuck in the 70s in other parts of our work. Daisy, I'll write that down in your chart for you, okay? okay. Uh-oh, I'm out of ink. What's ink? Hey, Kylie, can you help me calculate some anesthesia minutes? Sure, just give me a second to plug in. Looks like we might get rain today after work. Oh, let, let me check. Threatening and warmer. Uh-oh. Can you page anesthesia for me? Okay, so we can all agree that a lot has changed since the 70s, and probably all of it for the better. Either way, rest assured that when ICD-10 takes effect later this year, Nebraska Medicine will be ready. We've been ready for a long time. In fact, we've been working with insurance companies to make sure that they're ready too. But unfortunately, Washington postponed the deadline again. Thanks, President Ford. Uh, Ford's not president anymore. Okay, President Carter. But the fact is, we're ready. From the physician standpoint, you may be surprised, but here at Nebraska Medicine, we've actually been live already for a year. You've actually been doing the coding for ICD-10 behind the scenes in the electronic health care record. There are more codes, not scary by any means. It certainly will give us the opportunity to be reimbursed more accurately for the work that we do. Things like code Y93C2, activity with a handheld electronic device, you know, texting. A fun example is code V9543XA, spacecraft collision injuring occupant initial encounter. That is certainly something we would not have seen in ICD-9. Spacecraft collision? What is this, the year 2000? Yeah, there have been deadlines before, but this year it's happening. ICD-10 is coming and we are ready. Besides, what's the alternative? Being stuck in the 70s forever? This shirt belongs in the 70s. Does your health care? The 70s are no longer groovy. Get me out of the 70s! My mom graduated from medical school in the 70s. Get me out of here! I am so ready to be done with the 70s.